I use an image viewer called SXIV. SXIV stands for Simple X Image Viewer. So obviously, you need X as a dependency, X server that is. If you don't, know, if you do not know what that is, you probably have it. If you have a Linux installation, but it's pretty straightforward. It does exactly what it says. It has a bunch of features, uh, but notably. It's not technically a suckless program, but it is recommended by suckless.org, which I've covered in other videos. But in, it abides by the same philosophy in that you're intended to download the source code and then compile it yourself with make. Now I have the source code right here, as you can see. I'm not gonna recompile it and install it because I actually have it running in another window and if I try to compile it it'll give me an error and it just won't do it sorry it'll compile but it won't install you can look at some of its features just in the, just in the manual here um, today we're gonna look at one of these commands which is f flipping I'm not saying that this is exclusive to SXIV there's a bunch of other advantages in my opinion but we're just going to use that command on this image here as an example. This is just the cover of The Economist a couple weeks ago. It's If it's not already obvious, it is the Rothschilds giving you their plan for the coming year. So we might as well take a look at it. There are some obvious things that you can look. Uh, you know, like, oh, it's China and... You know, here's India, you know, their economy's growing, or in, here's Swede, and whatnot. But today we're going to use that pipe command. Pipe as in, well, let's go back. Pipe command as in, the, like, a, a phys, like the literal character that's used to flip images. Like I said, there's a bunch of other features, not exclusive to SXIV, but it's something that's convenient, in my opinion, about it. Oh yeah, you know, we have the four horsemen, very ominous. Um, and uh, this, that's not to say, I don't think it should be left off. I think it's pretty serious about what they think is going to happen. Um, you know, inequality. But we're gonna today we're going to use that command so that we can look at these backwards texts, so to speak very satanic if you ask me so facial recognition right here on this guy and also you know on, tr on Trump you know just showing you that no one no one will escape their indexing that no one will escape them everyone will be identified and whatnot um, we hear we have Putin's pipelines because the globalists do not like Putin because he is a nationalist. Britain beyond Brexit, they have a pug here with the British flag to indicate their disapproval of Brexit because they're globalists, obviously. New Horizons to Ultima Thule and a similar probe over here indicating that they have a moon base on the dark side of the moon that they are going to use to escape the planet if something wrong happens you know which is correlated I should say to these the four horsemen here uh, we have Mona Angela eh, Mona Angelina um, not too red pilled on that unfortunately I guess I should have looked it up but um, you know we have some voting then I'll flip this around so you can read this too hashtag me too you already know what that's about if you don't, I'm kind of confused on how you're on this channel, but here, you know, we have here, we have, oh, inequality, QR codes. <laughs> Speaking of QR codes, you should see the Luke Smith video on, Q, on generating QR codes. Um, but one of the most important things, right in the dead center of this, we have a stork with a barcode indicating designer babies. Um, I think you can tell by the tone of my voice what I think about that. But anyways, that's it. That's just a command in SXIV that 
it was very convenient when <laughs> when I got a copy of this to be able to look at it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope I uh, I have more videos soon.